Hello everyone, FunshinX here. Welcome back to ME4 Material Energy Hypercubed on the Feed the Beast launcher created by Parcel31U. I am in the chem lab and I've built another reactor. <laughs> I, I didn't like, I was using so much power trying to get chemistry done. And this, you know, you lose some and it also is m limited to 10,000. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll build another one and this will help it along. So this thing doesn't do a ton. I think it's like 6,000 RF a tick when it's online. Um, but it was... I pretty much had almost all the materials to build it already, um, so I just built it really quick, and yeah, it's pretty efficient. Just a, what, a 7x7? Seven seven? Yeah, 7x7 seven seven with five fuel rods in there. So, what did I do? I was busy. Busy, 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 busy. Look, chemistry. <laughs> Look that I did everything. Um, I went through all these ones. I mean, they were so, they were just crafting, you know, Symbacort, um, way too much noise, oxycodone, epinephrine. You really just do, most of them are just a mix of uh, carbon and hydrogen and nitrogen and oxygen, really, in different formats. You know, CHNO, you know, just a bunch of C uh, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon. So I did all those. Those were easy just in the uh, uh, assembler, the chemistry assembler. Um, the way too much noise was a little bit more difficult because you can't just craft it normally. You have to get noisium. Uh, which there's no recipe to get it, so you have to use your um, fusion, fusion chamber. Um, so I have been using a lot of tin because it's easy to put together. You go from 50 to 100, and then you add whatever you need. So the noisium is 19. So if we look in mine chem at all the uh, compounds and elements, number 19 is potassium. So two tins and a potassium make a noisium. And you combine the 8 noisium to get the way too much noisium. <laughs> I like the name of that. It's pretty interesting. Uh, do note when you put two tins together, you do get a number 100, which is fermium, which is radioactive. But it's got like a two-hour countdown, maybe a one or two-hour countdown. So really, as long as you use it pretty quickly or put it in a leaded chest, that's why I have a leaded chest here, um, you're fine to combine the tins. So that got us through the noisium, and that unlocked these three. These three are crazy. Actually, let's move over here. The Tuopa, I got that finally. Uh, remember the Tuopa needed the needed a couple things. Tupa, Tuopa, I don't know. Um, the Hibernium, I needed to mix together in the fusion chamber just like that. So I used 210 and whatever element 16 is. And then the Polysbutylene Rubber takes CH but 16 of those, so that's like a stack of carbon, two stacks of hydrogen, just to make one of these, and you need 30. So that is 30 sacks of carbon, 60 sacks of hydrogen, <laughs> plus some other stuff. Pretty crazy. So I was just decomposing like mad. Um, I used diamonds to get the carbon, obviously, and hydrogen, I just, whatever I had left over that had a, a lot of hydrogen in it, um, I was breaking down. And I finally crafted that. Once you make this, it's great because then you can grow these, chop them down and get more saplings, and then decompose them. And you get malic acid, methylene blue, and polysbutylene rubber. So you get a bunch of that rubber back. So that way I could just um, break it down again, and now I have tons of CH again. So these are actually really good because C carbon and hydrogen are used a lot in all of mine chem. So to have a really good, easy source of carbon hydrogen is, is awesome. So this tree is definitely cool. Okay, so now we moved over to these complex ones. We started with UUX, which is condensed matter. UUX is 125. So I did the same thing to tin and whatever the 25 element is. Or I think I might have done a 12 and a 13 or something to mix it up. But that's, again, it's just fusion, so it's a ton of power and some time. I was going to film it, but it's like, take two things, put them in here, wait a minute. Take two things, put them in here, wait a minute. You know, there's not a lot of automation that you could really do. I didn't, well, I, I guess I could have put some enderite conduits, enderite conduits in here and pulled stuff out, put stuff in. But it was just, I'm only going to do it, you know, a couple times, so I didn't see a point in automating it. And it was just a lot, really time consuming to wait for the energy to recharge. You know, in the time it took to craft that, I built an entire another reactor. So 
we got the one condensed matter that gave us some a chemical bucket that had more condensed matter in it so you just put it in the decomposer and you get some more condensed matter uh, and then it gets harder from there next we go to bio enhancements which is the bio modifier bio modifier is 5 UUX so the UX we just had plus a lot of the things that we've already crafted so two caffeine we did caffeine earlier epinephrine two of that and two erythropoe oh my goodness erythropoietin poetin poetin erythropoietin i have no idea but it's a mix of testosterone and aspirin <laughs> anyway it's like the purple pill or something pink pill but then you've got to make you know you put all those together and you get the bio modifier and I think it took one of those so that gave us some magenta lapis and some red heart canister and now we get to bio alchemy the bio alchemy is red matter basically the red matter that we all know love so it needs UUZ 10 of it 10 UUZ which is red matter element 500 <laughs> uh, and then UUX which is the stuff we've already made. It's basically a bunch of those biomodifiers, five biomodifiers plus 10 red matter. So I've got, for the red matter, I think I took, I think I just mixed tin. I just kept putting tin together. That was the easiest way to do it because <laughs> it was just it basically 10 tin will make a red matter. It probably cost me over a billion RF every single red matter, but I don't know what the full full amount of power is to get a 500 ID element, but we've got that one the last one just finished crafting before I started filming So we've got the 10 there, and I think I've got the other bio modifiers back at the observatory So let's head over there and let's see if we actually do have those bio modifiers or if I accidentally decomposed them sometime that would stink um, Where are you? No, you're not in there. Hopefully you're in here. Can see all the stuff there it is five bottom my fire with 10 you use Z is one bio alchemy I mean and you can't really do anything with this right it's just like it just decomposes if you if you read the quest book it's like with red matter I can alter my chemistry in unknown ways Ooh, no <laughs> I mean there's nothing bio alchemy Somebody tell me if there's a way to use this to do something other than just have, you know, it's just storing energy, basically. And, but I get a green heart canister, and we have completely completed chemistry. Ta-da! Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Cool. So, I don't know. Do we drink it? <laughs> this is, like, over, like, 10 billion RF, I'm sure. And I'm going to drink it. I'm going to do it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Speed do haste, health gen, jump, resistance, yeah, and it's only good for two minutes. Wow, I feel amazing. <laughs> and I'm not going to do anything with it, because I have other stuff to do. Next to heart, though, that's always nice. Okay, so, on to the, the quests back here. Lost in space, um, still working on getting some more cows. Um, there's other ways to get leather, but I'm really just not interested in doing that right now. Might as well just keep breeding cows. Let's see if it's actually time to breed a cow. Are you guys in the last generation? Ooh, they are. We might be able to get a cow here. Oh, where's my wheat? Ran out of wheat. I have 11,000 wheat. If only I had that many uh, cocoa beans, right? Alright, you and you make a baby cow, please. Domesticated cow. Oh, are you kidding me? How many generations is that? That was one, two, three, four, five. This is a sixth generation cow. Oh, no, that's a zombie. There we go. Oh, I can't believe that. I was for sure that was going to be a, a good cow. Oh, man, the particles are crazy. And I'm into blue hearts. <laughs> Did it get, oh, yeah, it gave me health boost. Look at how, how many hearts you get from that. That's crazy. Okay. Um, so, quest book. We're getting bags. We'll open them later. 
Um, so lost in time, we've got a bunch done. I made the Tartarite. So you can see I've got all Tartarite armor, amazing armor. I've got a new Tartarite Lumberax. I made that one and then I looked and you get a Lumberax as a reward. <laughs> and you get armor as a reward. I was like, oh man. So, oh well, we kind of wasted a little bit of Tartarite, but that's fine. We got so much of it. And then I tried to replace my pickaxe head with Tartarite or, or pretty much anything. What did I, what do I have over here? I have a tough rod. I was going to put that on, actually, I don't know what I was going to use that on, but let's go ahead and, um, just melt it again. What do we got going in here? Yeah, that's fine. I switched these for basins because I was making a ton of minerals earlier. So let's get a pickaxe head made out of tartarite. And we're going to run it, we're going to see an issue that I ran into. Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to put this, you're already full. Go away. Put this one to full. Did it just, ah, oh, it's done that before. Kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna wait for this whole thing to charge again. All right, we'll have to do that at the end. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna put that in my inventory so I don't forget about it. Okay, well, we'll wait on that one then. Put that and then that away. And I could put that in my bag and I have showed you that. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna put my tough rod on that. My tartarite right on that. Should I? Oh, it's already got a Tartarite Tough Rod. I think all that did was made it go like a ton more durability. So it really didn't do much. Okay, I also did the uh, Adamantine. Um, we had all that Molten Adamantine, so that was really easy just to pour into. Um, what you do is you get a, a drain with the drain side facing out. So normally you would you know have it the other way. Drain side facing out, that means it'll pour stuff in. I just put a tank on there that outputs, and then I could just take this barrel and manually put stuff in there, because I don't want to put it all in there. I mean, that would be way too much. So I just manually um, used a barrel to put it in there, and it drained in and made some blocks out of it. So that was easy. Claim the reward. Do we get a good bag? Uh, I think we got an epic. Nope. Legendary. Sweet! Okay, um, one really quick thing. We got the wings out of the legendary bag, and we also got this uh, Yellorium Bedrockium drum. Um, there's no use for liquid Yellorium. <laughs> it doesn't exist. The only way place fluid Yellorium exists is inside a reactor in the in the core or in the the things. There's no use of it, which sucks. So this was this was a troll. It was our first legitimate troll of the map. We got so excited to think we had so much Yellorium, and it was it's worthless. <laughs> um, okay. What do we got next? Um, I also made the calendrite. That was easy just to mix some shiny metal with some abdrine. Claim that. What did we get? Three epic bags. Sweet. We got lots of bags here. The next thing I made was a compacting space. So this is with the, I think that's compact space mod. What's it called? Yeah, compact machines. Um, this you had to make a world resizing cube, which was six of these. We've made this before, so that was easy to craft. I just did it off camera. And that's going to get us two more resizing cubes. Chemical bucket with something in it. Five good bags. The chemical bucket has isoprene. Whatever. All I, all I do when I get those is just go boom, get rid of it. <laughs> and with these, we could actually make some of the other world resizing cubes. Like uh, if we get um, stars, nether stars. We make the compact machine maximum size. <laughs> I'm interested to see how big that is. And I've got no other use for nether stars at the moment. Um, the one use I did remember with nether stars that I did is put an extra modifier on all your tools. So definitely use um, nether stars for that. But I want to see how big this thing is compared to the normal size one. So I think all we need to do, I'm not sure if it takes it takes energy if we just put it down. Let's just try putting it down. We'll put it right here. And now we need our little Game Boy. Uh, what is that? Personal, there it is. Personal shrinking device. 
and I think we just uh, click on it. There we go. Transferring dimensions into... Uh-oh. This is not looking good. Okay, there we go. Alright, that is not as, I, not as big as I thought it would be. But basically, we're now we're inside that block. And we can configure it so that these sides um, that we could import, like power or liquids or items, you know, and use item ducts and make a whole factory inside here. And it's stored in that single block, which is really cool. So, yeah, that's awesome. So let's get out of here. Yeah, just right click again to get out. So how big is that compared to this one? All right, so this is tiny. Okay, wow. Yeah, this is really tiny. <laughs> Okay, so you couldn't do much in there. Um, so we'll do that. That was cool. Got to see what it what it looked like inside there. How's my tool doing? You fully charged? Okay, here we go. So normally, you come to here, you put your tool in here, and you put your Tartarite pickaxe head, and it would replace it. And it wasn't working for me. And I thought either it's because this this tool is incorrect data crap that I can't get rid of, or it could be that I had um, a uh, the red the red uh, the no, the flux modifier on there, but if you look really close, even though it's fully charged and looks like it's fully repaired, hit shift on there and you see durability 2050 out of 2250. So I need sanguinite to repair this thing first. And the only thing I have is a sanguinite sword. I don't think I can just melt it. Is that melting? It is melting. Oh, sweet. <laughs> cool. All right, so we have another source of sanguinite because I don't, I don't think I've come across any other sanguinite. Because sanguinite is not an alloy, so there's nothing to mix it with. But yeah, that's cool. We just melt the sword. <laughs> All it has is wither effect on it. So I know the sanguinite is pretty nice, but um, I made this one the Tartarite broadsword. Whew, this thing is amazing. Plus 16 at the moment, and it's only leveled up a few times. I'm only at expert level. So, yeah. <laughs> That's me good. Um, I don't think I upgraded this to anything Tartarite. No. This is still bone. I need to upgrade my axe if I'm going to use it at all. And I haven't updated there. All right, so Sanguinite. Oh, give me two ingots, really? All right, put it in here. That's all right. That should be enough to... Uh, upgrade our, our pickaxe back to full. So hopefully this works. We're going to take the Sanguinite to repair this. And now it's durability 2250. So now it's completely repaired. Now we should be able to put Tartarite on there. And nice. Okay, so mining speed goes from 7 or 59.2 up to 61. Mining level goes to 8 and durability goes up like about 1300, 1250. Sweet. Haha! <laughs> now we've got Tartarite. So I can do the same thing with all my other ones. I I just, yeah, it's not fully repaired. That's why I couldn't do anything with it. So, cool. That's that's good to know. Thank you for the in the comments. We had, I think I had three or four people that let me know that that's what the problem was. All right, chugging along. Uh, the next thing, um, energy distributor. I think that's just a simple craft. I already have one. Oh, it's Ender Energy Distributor. So you have to mix it with some Ender Diamonds. There we go. Piece of cake. I have no idea what this thing does. Probably needs power. Give it RF. Give it some kind of filter looking like thing. Let's look at random, random things. What's the purple one? Position filter. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to look up and see what that does. I'm wondering if that allows you to kind of make a box. Oh, I bet I bet you can pump power in this thing and then come over here to something that needs power. Uh, I don't really have it something, but let's say this block right here needed power. I could probably... Let, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, right? Okay, so we need... Unless this thing is way impossible to craft, then we'll skip it. But a position filter, purple dye, and paper. We need some purple dye. Oh, come on. Do we not have any roses? Plenty of bloody rose work. Yeah, cool. Just get you one, but that's all I need. All 
All right, so get the position filter. And let's take a machine that needs power. So we just make one really quick, do it, um, furnace. Come on, give me a basic furnace. Ah, come on, what's a quick machine that needs power? I probably have one maybe back here somewhere. A wither witch? I don't want to spawn wither witches. <laughs> that would be fun, but no. Um, man, I thought I had just a chest full of things that needed needed power. These all take power. Oh, there we go. Let's do a redstone charge pad. There we go. Cool. So that one we're going to just put right here, and we're not going to give it any power. We're just going to put it there. And then right-click on that. There it's got the filter active. Put that in here. And break this a little bit. Now we need some conduit. I, I assume this is how it works. If it does, that's really cool. Because that would like, be an awesome way to like hide wires. Alright, so that's charging. Any distributed last tech, zero. Machines connected, zero. Really? There's a machine right here. It needs power. Huh. You've got RF. You've got a position filter. All right, well, someone let me know what I'm doing wrong. That seems like what I need. I mean, these are, that makes sense. It seems, needs to connect to a machine. I did the position filter. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it needs like a battery instead. What do we have from Ender.io? Can we make a uh, capacitor bank real quick? Can you not craft a capacitor bank? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, well. Well, that's enough of that. We tried. We failed. <laughs> no. Did you just take my torches? Get those back. Next on the list. Complete that quest. Yeah, position filters. Oh, ender tank glass. Vibrant. Maybe you do need an ender tank. I will be able to transfer some flux energy my machine lines more easily by creating small vortexes of space. Let's do this. All right, that should charge that. That should be draining that a little bit. Just a little bit? Yep, okay. Now, position filter. I know I said it was done, but I want I want to make this work. <laughs> Click there. Oh, are you charging me? You charging my stuff? Doesn't look like it. It's doing something to me. <laughs> All right, and put that in here. Yeah, just, it won't connect to a machine. No idea why. Redstone signal, maybe? I don't know. It's doing ADR of a tick to something. Not to that. Oh, there it is. It's charging my bow. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What is it charging now? My sword? Yep, it's charging my sword. <laughs> oh, that is really cool. All right, I like that. That's awesome. Okay. I should put it in a better spot, but that works for now. Okay, um, Joe in a tank, it makes a Killer Joe. Killer Joe, I think we have most everything made. No, we need that middle guy. That middle guy is a soul vial with a zombie in it, I think. Yeah, zombie and a Z-Logic controller. I've got both of those here, ready to go. So, that's the villager. Zombie, Z-Logic, use my XP. Uh, I need to go get 10 XP levels. Oh, I've got 14 levels. Okay, that was weird. Okay, that's going to craft up. In case you don't know, these soul vials, you just craft them, and then you go out and click on a mob with them to trap them in there. I've been using that quite often. You get the soul vial back, and now we get the Franken zombie. We can put him in the middle of this little contraption. We get the Killer Joe. 
Killer Joe, I believe, is like a... Attacks nearby creatures when supplied with a sword and nutrient distillation. So we would take our vat to get some of this nutrient distillation stuff. Somehow pipe that over to him and give him a sword and he would kill mobs. So it's just a type of mob farm. I really don't need a mob farm right now, so we'll put him away. But that completes the quest. Claim a reward. It <laughs> gives him a sword for him. And we got a greater bag. Okay. Don't need the sword. Done with those. More greater bags. Done with that. Okay. Next we've got... Oh, we're getting so far, guys. Folding space. Staff of traveling. I really should have had one of these earlier. These are amazing. Enticing crystal, which is a villager soul vial with uh, emerald. And ten more levels, so I'm going to have to go get that. Right. Oh, it's got four. It wants six more. All right. Craft that guy up. And then it also takes uh, Dust Chalkos. That's probably why I didn't make it before, because I didn't have those ingots. So we'll go ahead and craft one of these. I'm going to have to charge it, and might as well use our new charger over here. Charge it up. It's working. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so we don't need a ton of power in it, just a little bit. And now you can see we, from anywhere in the world, can teleport anywhere. So if I want to go up here... Oh, I don't have enough power, do I? All right, it must take a lot of power. And this thing only outputs ADRF, so let's go over here. I'm wondering, can you upgrade this? Does it have a... Yeah, you could probably give it a capacitor to make it do more. But for now, let's just put it in here. This thing does pretty well. Oh, and this thing doesn't hold much RF at all. Okay, now can I jump to stuff? Oh, maybe I need to right-click? Oh, there we go. Yeah, right-click. It actually used quite a bit. Let's go down to the observatory. If I want to go down to the basement. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Definitely going to keep this one in the inventory and use it quite a bit. I'm just going to recharge it up. Okay. Next, that quest reward, anything good? Oh, two more traveling gears. Another enticing crystal. We can make another one. An Ender I.O. Now, this is a weird block. Very weird block. Let's put these things away that we don't need anymore. It's a greater bag. So if we take that Ender I.O. that we just got, and we've actually got quite a few of them, and let's say we put it right... What I want to do, I want to put it right here. Okay. So now, if I'm down in the spatial I.O. And I'm not sure what is loaded, right? Take my staff. I think this works. And I right-click there. Oh, and this is actually pretty slow. I wish this would have been faster. Uh, maybe it's not going to work. There it goes. Oh. No. There we go. I'm just... Ah, I just needed to turn. And unfortunately, its vision is not is not decent enough to know uh, to do what I wanted. I wanted to be able to see inside there to know what's loaded. So let's let's try moving it just one more time here. If we put it, oops, breaking blocks like right here maybe, so it's not got the glass in the way. That way, you know, when I load something, I just I look in and see what's loaded. Put this stuff back. I don't like breaking things. There we go. All right, let's try it just from over here. If I want to know what's loaded, click that. And no, it's just, it could be because the the area that I have loaded has a pretty far draw distance and this thing just doesn't have a good draw distance. If you see, oh yeah, it does. It has really crappy draw distance. All right. Well, oh well. <laughs> pretty cool. We'll leave it there. It looks good. Definitely a cool block. Very cool concept block. 
put that away. We're getting down. We're getting there. Next, we need a um, exchanging space. Yep. So the exchanging space, I think, actually, I have no clue what it does. It says, use, use while sneaking to choose a source. And I'm wondering if it allows you to kind of suck up what's inside one of these blocks and move it. No idea. We'll try it. So it's not cheap to make. It takes a lot of these weird crystals. So the vibrant, oops, the pulsating, the enticing, which we just got another of an ender crystal, which takes another villager. Oh no, that's an enderman. One of these took a villager. Yeah, this one. So I had to get a villager and an enderman in a box. Redstone alloy, ender tanks we've been given from quest rewards. But we should have enough. Okay, this is going to need power as well. Oh, this thing holds two million. Holy crap. Radius three. Use while sneaking to choose source. What does the book say about it? Uh, I can exchange your space <laughs> and replace blocks with other blocks. The other area of effect can be adjusted and use more RF per block. That doesn't make any sense, but oh well. All right, so that's got enough power in it. Let's let's say we want to move this crafting table and a three by three space around it. So let me get something else to put on top, uh, and then we'll get something to exchange it with, like pieces of gravel. This is what I assume it does. So we put that there, and we go bam. There's our shape, radius three. Oh, is it like a a wand of equal strange? So, do I need wood now? Let's get some wood and see if it's like an equal exchange wand. What kind of wood do we use? I think it was oak. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> it's an equal exchange wand! Oh, that's awesome! Ah, that's cool! We don't need Thomcraft in the map! Oh, this. Okay. I thought this cool tool is going to be crap, but no, that is very useful. Um, moving spawners? No, that's not going to work for moving spawners, but I'm sure I can find some kind of use for it. <laughs> okay, I think we're almost done. That completed this one. What kind of bag did we get? Greater bag. Got a bunch of uh, resonant flux, and Apparently, there's something wrong with the quest book, and it also completed the resin exchanger for us, even though we don't have that. But the resin and exchanger is you've got to make machine frames resonant. Do we have any of these? No. Yeah. So, I mean, I could make that real quick. It would just take a lot of crafting. So, we're just going to take advantage of the bug and finish it. <laughs> and that gave us another bag somewhere. Can get rid of all of these. Okay, I want to make a matter cannon. Matter cannon. Um, you can see I got some matter balls, and normally you'd have to condense those to make it, but I got them in a quest reward, so I don't have to make that. I also got the matter condensers in a quest reward, so <laughs> don't have to make that. Uh, we have everything else crafted except for the spatial component. And this is 128 to the 128 cubed, so 128 blocks cubed maybe and that takes a four of the 16 and four of the two and a bunch of fluix and stuff and that'd be a lot to craft i want to test something if you have a storage drive that's empty let's go to this one and you shift right click on it it extracts the storage component from the storage housing and you can always put it back together right oh and i got achievement for that <laughs> So I've got this reflectionist base. I have no use for this anymore. Can I put it in my inventory, shift click it, because the recipe of it takes one of these 128.8s, or 120 cubes. So can I just shift click it? Ah, oh, spoiled, ah, darn it. I was hoping I could, I could, you know, take the thing out of it, because there's no use for it, and then, darn it. So I am gonna have to craft that. 
And I'm going to do that in between episodes because that's, that's quite a pain. It's a lot of stuff to craft. All right, so I've still got one more thing because this guy was sitting in my inventory. What's he doing here? Is that part of the matter cannon? No. What are you part of, dude? Um, space energy? Oh, the wireless charger. Yeah, the wireless charger for sure. I really want to make this one. All right, so the wireless charger is an octatic capacitor, electrical steel, and this ender resonator. And he's an enderman head, similar ways we've made the zombie guy. The octatic is mercury, which you can get from... What did I use? Slime ball? No, I didn't use slime balls. I used uh, magma creams to get the mercury. And uh, this one, which is just carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and manganese. Uh, manganese you get from... What have I been getting manganese from? I don't remember. I think I just had manganese ore <laughs> that I used. Um, but anyway, so I've got, I think I've got the Octatic crafted. No? Where? I swear I made this. Oh, maybe I just need to craft it. Uh, let's see, is the Methyl Tribunal stuff in here? Octatic. Hopefully that... Oh, good. It's all in here. <laughs> okay. Octatic in there. And then we can make this wireless charger really easily. So this is another Ender AO block. Let's give it power. This one is crap, so I'm getting rid of it. Put this here. And now it should be charging my tools. And I can't tell because of the... Are you charging? I can't tell. It must be. Let's go, let's go maybe dig something. Use up a little bit of power. Oh no, I dropped one down. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so we've definitely used a little bit of power here. Let's just walk over here. See how how soon it starts charging. There it goes. So it's charging from here, so that's perfect. Anytime I'm around here now, my tools will just automatically recharge. I don't have to use the infuser again. And it looks like it doesn't use power unless it needs it. Cool! Alright, well that's awesome. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Ten vibrant capacitor banks. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's a lot of capacitor banks. Uh, where do I want to put that? Uh, I don't have any use for them right now because I'm done with chemistry, so I don't need it up there. If I run out of power, I'll go grab it there. Let's do some bags. This episode got really long. Wow. All right, so these are goods. Fragments. I actually need those. I ran out. Nothing nothing too great from the fragments. All right, the uh, from the goods, the graters, generic V, S64X, ectoplasm, slimy saplings, and a bunch, oh goodness, all that stuff. <laughs> okay. I like having the interfaces, those are nice. All right, eight epic bags. Ooh, look at all that good stuff. That's really good. Oh, 60, 60 blocks of gold? Nice! Alright, oh, that one's pretty good, too. Ender, filing cabinets, uh, white stone charged. Oh, I put that in my inventory, I can't die. Nice. Hardened cash, hardened cash. Probably has something in it. More Ender I.O. blocks. Dire hammer. Okay, what's it made of? Is made of cobalt, vulcanite, and slime. That's actually a really good hammer and our adamantite tough rod. That is a really good hammer. Cool. <laughs> um, do these caches have anything in them? Tungsten plating. Tungsten plating. Awesome. 
Oh, but that, I'm really happy about block of gold because I was almost out of gold. Yeah, might as well keep that in case I die. Oh, can I put it in a bobble? No, it's not a bobble slide item. Just gotta keep it in your inventory. Legendaries, we have three, uh, some Tartarite arrows. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Cool. Uh, liquid XP Bedrockium. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is not a troll. <laughs> and Majolner. Okay. No idea what that's made of. Obsidian, Ingmalin. Yeah, it's crap. What is it, though? Is it a, a weapon? Hammerhead. Large plate, large plate. Yeah, so it's just a, another thing. Actually, is there a special... Some of these, when you rename them things, they get special looks to them. It kind of looks different than a normal hammer. Alright, so compare these. Auto repair 4. Uh, what's their damage? 6 hearts. 7 hearts. Ah, mine are better. Ha ha. And we'll put this bedrockium over here somewhere. I've got to figure out a way to... Well, actually, I just take that one out fill it with bedrockium. There we go. And this one can hang out in my barrel area. <laughs> the drum area. Okay, so that's all the quests. Now I want to talk about the next area. We, we're going to go long. We're definitely going to go long, but we're almost done with the map, and I really want to finish this map off fairly quickly. So back to Spatial I.O. Uh, we're going to load up Wild's Dream, right? No, it's uh, Kibi's Idea Machine. So I was able to fix the issue with the um, ID conflict where it was loading up the amusement park instead of Kibi's. I think I just copied zone template 31 to world save 28 or something like that. You load this one, you immediately start lagging. And you go in here. As soon as you hit right here, you just hear wolves like crazy. A million wolves. It just The sound glitches because there's so many. And they just come charging out here with super speed. So if I didn't have fly, you know, and I'm back out here, I would have died instantly. <laughs> but I was able to fly. And they all just kind of stood by me. And I thought, well, I'll just kill them really quick. And so I'll move into the diamond spikes. And that, that did. That killed them really quick. <laughs> and that put like a thousand experience balls on the ground. And as soon as they all died, a thousand more of them spawned. <laughs> and I'm exaggerating when I say a thousand. But just like the whole hallway was filled with wolves and the whole XP area. And I got down to like two FPS and I was like, are you kidding me? So I did a, uh, COFH kill all XP. That's how you kill all XP orbs. And that helped. And then I didn't let the wolves touch those diamond things again. I just let the pack follow me around while I flied. And while I did that, I came into these areas, which are actually pretty cool areas. And I found the spawners. Uh, this spawner, what I think was inside here. Yeah, there was a spawner right there for wolves. Um, is that a... That's a chest, right? S excuse me. Um, yep. Epic bag. Any of these others have chests? There's a bag here. Epic bag. I think there was something up here? No? Must be in another area. Oh yeah, I checked back there behind it. There wasn't anything. So that, oh, there's the other, I knew there was another one. All right, so we have three epic bags in this room. I think that's it. Uh, then I came over here. This room here, well, there's another bag here. This is like epic bag area. And the spawner in here was, I think it was just in one of these rows. And these are all crafting storage. Holy crap, if you need to do an ME automated crafting system, come in here and grab these. Because you just get 64 crafting storage. Look at that. It's crazy. And there's a bag back here. Or a chest. Oh, I must have already grabbed something out of there. Got witch spawning. I even checked inside here to see if there's any spawners, and no, there's not. Um, yep, there's the other bag. Or other chest. This one has a legendary. Nice. I couldn't check it earlier because there were so many freaking wolves. Okay, I think that's it for this room. 
Um, and again, I, I just couldn't show you this, guys, because basically part of Parcel's logic in the end was I've made them so overpowered, but I need to make more areas and I need to make them difficult. The only way to do that is to have... I can't make, increase the difficulty of the mobs because we're uber, right? We can't die. So the only... The only way to make it more difficult is put more. <laughs> and unfortunately, that doesn't work in Minecraft because you get to a point where there's just too many entities and uh, they respawn too quick and it, you just you just can't progress, right? So if I didn't have flight, what I would have done is I would have made a, a scaffolding just up here and dug into this room and dug into that room and just taken out the spawners. And then once all the spawners were gone, then I would start killing the wolves. The wolves, they do a pretty good amount of damage. Not with my armor. I mean, the only thing they really do is they damage it. That, that kind of sucks. You make a bunch of new armor and it's all destroyed. And I think creeper explosions do quite a bit, actually. In here, there were... This is obsidian, so it takes you a while to dig. And the wolves like to jump up here and jump at you, so it's hard to dig while you're uh, doing it. But there was a spawner in there, and I think there was only one spawner here. I'm not going to check every single one of these pillars to find the reward bags. I know there's reward bags under here. I don't think I need anything else to beat this map, honestly. So look around here if you have time and, and find the other bags and enjoy your respoils. The last one, this is one of my favorite rooms. I like it. It's like a discotheque <laughs> with the uh, Emmy controllers. Um, but this one has, again, obsidian that you've got to dig out. This one has a legendary bag. And another spawner in there. So there's four four wolf spawners all together. And uh, once you kill them all, then yeah, it's, you can just go ahead and take out the wolves and it's pretty easy. Uh, this is fluke box. I guess we'll, we'll explore now here. Go out here. There's just going to be a ton of mobs. Oop, got a chest. Always look on top. Oh my goodness. Where's a creeper when you need one? Creeper, help me out, please. Help me out, creepers. There you go. Good creeper. Where's another one? Oh my goodness. And they're all spawning. Okay. Can I get to this chest really quick and get inside it? <laughs> no. Apparently not. I can see it's got a ch uh, bag in it. There you go. Legendary bag. Nice. Move out of here. Okay, cool. So that's... Worth it for a bag. Let's see if we can get down under this thing. What are these? Corp blocks? Hello. And glowstone. And down here, what's this? Uh, oh, that's wool. You know what? This is not powered. But is that a storage bus? P2P tunnel. Okay, there's a P2P tunnel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is like a uh, Super Soren Drive. Yeah, that's what it is. It just it takes advantage of storage buses um, and channels to 64k. Okay, well let's grab some of these. We can use them. And I'm sure some of them have things on them. The best way to figure that out would be to go get a monitor. So let's go do that. What? Where am I? Am I like underneath? Is there anything on? Dude, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything right on this level. No, that's just the hallway, I think. Okay, so yeah, I want to go grab a monitor and just see if there's anything on this network. I want to find out where that P2P comes out because if so, I could hook a monitor right there and get the wool. <laughs> I might have saved you guys a ton of trouble. All right, we need a nope, not a storage monitor. It's a terminal. Terminal. There we go. So an ME terminal. We have a bunch of those. I'll deal with the storage drives later. Okay. Oops. Bones. Let's go just attach this and see if it shows us the wool or anything else on those drives. What? It's 
All right. Why is it attaching it that way? It doesn't make any sense. Attach it to uh, this one? Okay, so there's no power. What if I supply power to the system? I can do that. This ought to do. <laughs> Let's go find, find the actual controller for the system, which must be this. No? Yeah, right here. Okay, if this is the controller, I just need to give it power. Okay, it's draining power fast. Oh, why am I going all the way down here to put a monitor on? No power? What? <sighs> you guys said you like better when I don't put torches down and just shoot, but sometimes <laughs> you don't want mob mobs bugging you. It's draining a crap ton of power into the system, but there's no... There must be... He must just have too many channels on a bunch of things so that they're... They're not using it. I mean, yeah, that thing just drained that power like crazy. All right, so if that's not the way to do it, then what is? I feel like there's a clever way to do this that I'm missing. Because, I mean, he does, obviously he doesn't want you to come down here and just grab the chest out of here. What if we just put it here? Does that have power? No. All right, what if we... This just seems like too many controllers, but none of them are dark, so this must be a valid uh, thing. Let's um get rid of some of them. Okay, so we've only... This is now just this system, so we can put some power on here. You're gonna power up. No, yes, no. You've got channels there. Come on. I do feel like if I could get power to this thing, it would work. But no, it's not putting any channels out. Why is it not putting channels out? Technically, we don't need any of these. Alright, so this is now just a single system here with just that controller. It's getting power. It's putting... It should be putting channels out. Come on. Maybe it's because it's not smart. Alright, is that lit up now? Okay, there we go. But the peer-to-peer -peer is not working, so I've definitely broken the system now. <laughs> uh, oh well. Alright, and any of these have stuff on them. Maybe I'll get lucky. Alright guys, well, I'm going to end the episode there because we are very long. Let's just grab the wool out of here. If I can reach it. And nope, nope, stop floating. There we go. Purple wool, jaded wool. We'll go put that on the monument. Um, and I'll come back down here and, and try and hook up the ME system. I'm just not seeing what what's not uh, what's not correct there. But we should be able to hook that up to maybe a, a power transmitter, you know, so it actually gets power the whole time and and get all those drives online. Let's see if there's anything inside. If you liked the episode, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see some more, subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. And I will head to the Victory Monument to put on the jaded wool. Until the next episode, guys, this has been Funshine X. I will see you later.